being deferential doesn't mean that you need to allow yourself to be victimized. This is actually about selling a company we both own. He just wants us to do it his way. He refuses to talk to me. So he's like, I'm just going to tell you how it's going to be. I'm not going to meet with you. Mm -hmm. Just tell me what you think about this. So I feel like deference, I, I don't want to err on that. This guy's super assertive, but yet I, I do want to get back to a, a place. So it feels like silence actually gave us space to calm down as well. Cause I, I was listening to you saying, you gotta know what your triggers are. And I'm like, uh, we're very mm. triggered. He should know this silence. Sandy has taught us like the silence is letting him know. No, we're not responding to that. And also we're just trying to figure out how do we I message this, right? That's a great point. That is a great point. And so I think, I think an I message definitely factors in. Um, if you're worried about the silence, you know, one thing that's great about the way human nature works naturally is everyone loves to have expectations laid out for them. And so even if the expectation is you need to go off on your own and sit in the corner and think about what you did, even if that's what you're doing, you can send an email or communicate that like I clearly you need time to think I'd like to provide you with space. I'm not going to contact you for two weeks. Is it an impossibility for me to reach out or how, how much, how much would it upset you if in three weeks, in two weeks, you know, on April 23rd, I reach back out to see where we were. And now the expectation is set, right? The great thing is if he breaks it and reaches out to you before the three week mark, that's tremendously positive. And so that's another option as well. But I like the iMessage piece too, especially as far as confronting his approach on like, this ain't going to work, man. You, you got crazy thoughts on how you want to get this deal done. It doesn't work for me. It might hurt us both, right? When you, I feel because, and, and I think, I think to your point that drops it. There might be an iMessage or a certain form of that. Um, you know, I, I'm sorry, I'm afraid it doesn't work for me to be treated like this. When you treat me like this, I become concerned because it stops me from wanting to interact with you. Some some sort of a, a, a boundary set and then don't let yourself be taken hostage by by them trying to victimize you. There is there is a lot of victimization behavior out there where people people act like a victim, but they're actually victimizing you. That's not fair is is exactly that kind of a dynamic. So.